Hello, welcome back to Manipola Consult TV. I'm Chinwe. This is episode 2 of Business Secrets from the Bible series. I don't think there's any need to go over the introduction because we did that in the first video. If this is the first video you're watching, I suggest you find the episode 1 and watch it so you can follow up with what we're talking about. Secret number 4. The universe was created for connection. Success is always more likely when you're swimming with the current than against it. There are natural forces that control everything we're about. For example, you know of law of gravity. Whatever goes up must come down. And if you try gravity, you'll be a goner. But then you find some people that are going up without coming down. The wise thing to do will be to go to them and find out what they know about gravity that makes it work in their favor. We are made for connection. We are made to feed off each other. If you want to go to America, you know that it's wiser to get on a plane than to turn into a bird. If you arrive to America on a plane, you can easily continue to your final destination. But if you arrive as a bird, you might not find where to change into a human being. You might be hit by a person who is genuinely frightened of birds. And that will be a wrap for you. It is certainly helpful to learn about how things work so that you can benefit from it. There is no pride whatsoever in ignorant struggle. Whatever it is that you are lacking, there is someone out there that can help you out with it. Besides the connection of human beings, Every other thing in this world connects to become more. Letters are meaningless until they connect together to make up a word. Words are just words until they come together to make up a sentence. Sentences have limited meanings until they are arranged in a progression that conveys a particular theory or concept. Another good example is the combination of sodium and chlorine. These elements on their own are toxic and poisonous, but combined together they make up salt, which is very important in our daily lives. And it's the same thing with people. So our job here is to find harmony with the resources that bring us the relief and happiness we seek. Communication is vital to our existence because that's how we relate with other people. No man is an island, so you need to learn how to effectively communicate with other people in order to establish meaningful connections. God wants us to connect so that we can co-create better experiences for and with each other. So go out there and make connections. Secret number five, making money is a spiritual activity. Money is a symbol and I like to define it as something that confirms the exchange of value. Value in this term is totally subjective. Most of our human activities is to affirm how different we are from other creatures. We are higher animals and we like to emphasize that in everything we do. In a constant attempt to prove our superiority, we've dramatized and ritualized all the activities we have in common with other animals. For example, all animals eat but human beings, we eat in a very special way. We cook our meal with spices and herbs, we mix it up and serve ourselves in fine dishes. Another good example is the act of consummating and reproduction. You can walk out of your house and see two birds getting it on. But as human beings, as the special creatures that we are, we go all out when we want to consummate or reproduce. As a guy, you will first identify the chick, all puns intended. You promise her heaven and earth in order to convince her that you are the real deal. When she finally agrees, the real journey starts. You will go to her family and friends and tell them how much you want to tear that body up in the form of paying bride price and doing all those traditional rites. When her family is on board, you march down to her priest or whoever her religious leader is to tell him the plans you have for this sister, Sister Chinwe or whoever the sister is. Her priest will even take you on a three to six month course on how to handle sister whoever the sister is. Then when all that drama is complete, you can now start reproducing. Tell me again how we're not special. Sometimes I wonder what the animals around us are wondering when we're doing all that. Well, then I remember that they can't be bothered. It's none of their business. They're animals. So that's human beings for you. We take pride in our most common activities. So it only makes sense that when we engage in those activities that make us embody the image of God in us, we go all out. We make it significant. Business is a way of creating an item or an experience that could improve someone else's life. And we take pride in bringing that satisfaction to them. And in doing so, we want to be applauded. We want to be appreciated. We want to be recognized. We want to be respected for the contribution we're making. And being in a material world, we need something that symbolizes all these emotions and wonderful feelings we expect to get from other people for meeting their needs. And I guess money does it for us. I used to joke around with my friends and tell them, see, I know you love me very much, but right now I need the symbol of that your love. Can you give me the monetary value of that your love? That's what money is. Money symbolizes our value and our contribution to the greater good of all. We all agree that Beyonce 
my sister is a great musician and an entertainer but if it happens that one day she wakes up on the wrong side of the bed and forgets even a little bit of who she is the pop has seen a little bit so magnificent the chandelier is coming down like before she even gets off the bed she remember oh yeah i'm beyonce <laughs> i know i use beyonce a lot i love her so much she's living her best life but the same applies to you really the money you have in your bank account the material things you've acquired for yourself is a symbol of the contribution you've made in someone else's life because you didn't create all those things you had to exchange them with the money you had and you couldn't have gotten that money if you didn't do something for someone else if you didn't contribute in any way at all to someone else's life like make it better in a way do you understand if you're in any type of business even if you don't enjoy it so much I need you to know that it's still a major contribution you're making to the greater good of all. And even if you think the symbol you receive, that's your salary, is not as much as you think it should be, just take a moment and appreciate yourself for being in that position in the first place. It is a major contribution and I want you to see yourself as super important. Even if you didn't do any conventional work for the money you have now, maybe you're from a rich family or you have a sponsor. I don't think it matters. I believe you have that money because you are bringing a certain level of happiness and comfort to someone else's life and that's why they are able to part with their money and give it to you instead. So in essence, you earned it. You should pride yourself in whatever endeavor you find yourself in. Whether you are messy that earns thousands of pounds weekly for playing football or you're a civil servant in Nigeria that earns less than 100,000 naira. You are equally valued because making money is a spiritual activity and if you can have faith in the contribution you're making whatever it is you find yourself making a lot of symbols money crispy money the point i'm trying to make here is appreciate where you find yourself and the contributions you're making no matter how big or little the compensation is because if you curse what you're doing you won't grow from it do you understand having faith and appreciating what you do is believing that you deserve all the money in the world for doing that particular thing. Do you understand? Because if you keep complaining and blaming your employer for paying you peanuts that hey, I'm doing all these things, you're not appreciating yourself. You are condemning someone else. And I'm not preaching, you know, although we're talking about things from the Bible. But the point I'm trying to make is appreciate yourself. By appreciating yourself, do your work with all your heart. Do you understand? Like, even if your job is to sweep, sweep it like... You yeah, are dancing shocky shocky and all those new dances that keep coming out. Just appreciate yourself and do whatever you are doing and believe that you deserve the whole world for doing that particular thing. And you see yourself getting it. Your professions that earn the most in the world, they are not the lifesavers. Do you understand? Artists, David will come out on stage. I like David so much because, man, like he's living his best life. He'll come out on stage and shout, yo, 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 with his cracked voice and they'll give him 5 million naira. I don't know how much he earns. And if you can have that same attitude towards whatever it is you find yourself doing, whether you're a cleaner or you're a surgeon or you're a civil servant, just believe that you deserve as much as Beyonce for sweeping that place. Like... I mean, yeah, why not? You can't believe. It doesn't hurt to believe. And you see yourself being happy and attracting nice people and better positions and all that. Do you understand? Because money making is a spiritual activity and you being involved in that activity, God knows about you and wants to reward you. But you have to allow that reward to come to you. You have to appreciate yourself first for the world to appreciate you. Do you understand? I strongly believe that your level of appreciation for the work you do has a significant effect on the compensation you get from it. Secret number six. Everything important or significant that you've achieved, you've done it in partnership with at least one other person. This particular secret combines the power of specialization, exchange, and connection. There is a powerful force that comes to play when more than one person comes together in pursuit of a specific objective. They call it the Mastermind Alliance and the Mastermind Alliance feeds off the resources of each member of the Alliance. As an individual, you have the ability to think your own thoughts, imagine things as you want them to be, you have your money, you have your skills, and with all that, you know the kind of beautiful life you created for yourself. Imagine having access to two of that unique pool of resources. That's where Mastermind Alliance or Partnership gets its power from. Most of the things you want will come to you through cooperative components that will involve other human beings. If you notice, Breaking of bread in the Bible is used to symbolize cooperation among people. This book says it symbolizes the need for human beings to come together in order to get things done. Because before you break bread, someone has to plant the wheat. 
Someone has to milk the cow, process the flour, bake the bread, and do all the other things you need to get bread done. Someone even has to serve it and someone has to break it. And all these activities involve people in their specializations to come together in order to make that happen. Also, bread is used to describe money in some slangs. For example, I got bread or I got dough. <laughs> this is because there's nothing that brings people together like money. I strongly believe that anybody can reach any height on its own, but even at that, you still need the cooperation of other people to climb. It's inevitable to have relationships. You can't run away from it. Serena Williams, we all know her. She's like the best female lawn tennis player in the world. It's true she's independently recognized with that title all over the world, but she got there through the connections and relationships she established. I'm sure she has a team of people who contribute the best of who they are in order for her to maintain her status. Probably has the best coach, the best trainer, the best nutritionist, the best everything working around the clock to make sure that she is Serena Williams. Connections help us grow, they help us become more, they help us express ourselves in a more emphatic way. The impact of one person walking down to Asso Rock to demand for younger people to be allowed to contest for office cannot be compared to a group of people marching down to Asso Rock to demand for the same thing. That's why that bill was passed. There's power in Mastermind Alliance. And God is rooting for you whenever you strive to make meaningful connections. The sum of the whole is always greater than the parts. If you accept the fact that with others, you become more. You teach yourself to become a people person. You see yourself be more friendly and cheerful. And with that attitude, you are bound to get the best out of everyone you interact with. Personally, I've found that my smile alone is all I need to enter the hardest of office. I smile to express my cheerful attitude towards the person I'm relating with. It's my way of saying I come in peace and I appreciate you without necessarily using my words. And when you appreciate people, they appreciate you back. The energy you give out is what you receive. And I've proven to myself over and over again that it works like magic. And the main reason why it works is because I'm flowing with the natural current of partnership and harmonious relationship. Like I said earlier, success is more likely when you are swimming towards the current than against it. I know Senami talked this part. But I saw it irrevocably day for Bible. This is where I end the second episode of the Business Secrets from the Bible series. That's all I have for you in this video. I hope you found it really useful. If you like this video and want to see more of it, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and you get updates whenever we upload our weekly videos. But first, you have to turn on your notification. You can also subscribe to our newsletter via the link in the description box below and you get notifications whenever we upload our weekly videos. You'll get a business plan template once you sign up and personal updates from me that I just don't share anywhere else. If you're in Abuja, I invite you to come for my business club. It happens every Saturday at 3 p.m. at plot 576 Mobolaji Johnson Street in Gudu. You meet like minds and I think you're going to find it really interesting. If you enjoyed this video, like and share with your friends. You never know who you might be helping. Thank you so much for watching. See you in our next video.